All right, and we're back with live coverage of the X-Wing Store Championship hosted in Brothers Grimm Games, uh, Selden, New York. Uh, once again, the stream is being a lot, uh, provided by Gen Game. Uh, right over there, those guys. Uh, we're back with round two. So t right now, our matchup for round two is going to be Danny Thiessen and Scott Spiro, uh, Rebel and Imperial, fighting off once again. Uh, there's Danny on the left and S Scott on the right. Danny today will be playing a Rebel list featuring two Rebel operatives and two Gold Squadron pilots, all equipped with twin laser turrets. Uh, many of you will know this as uh, a very metal list. Uh, the uh, <clears throat> Rebel operatives are equipped with Recon Specialist, while the Gold Squadron pilots are equipped with R2 Astromechs. Uh, on the opposite side, we have uh, a Pulp Aces list. Pulp seen riding in an Omicron shuttle uh, with, I believe that's an Ion Cannon. Uh, while you've got Darth Vader kitted out with the title uh, Crack Shot, Proton Rockets, Engine Upgrade, and Advanced Targeting Computer. A very interesting build on Vader. Uh, Omega Leader is the Tie Foe with uh, Juke Comms Relay and Stealth Device. So, uh, interesting build on uh, Darth Vader there. We'll see if it works out for him. So right now they're just getting all their templates and everything ready. Uh, the round hasn't started yet, but we'll have 75 minutes. Uh, both players are one and one. And uh, they're vying to get that beautiful 2-0 for round three. All right, so I think they're just, uh, oh, deciding initiative. How many points are they at? Let's find out, 99 points and 100. So Scott will have initiative. Oh, they're just double checking their rocks, making sure they know whose is whose. So it looks like Scott's gonna place the first rock. All right, so they're just adding them to the pool. And when the TO gives them the go ahead, I think they'll start placing. Oh, my mistake, we've already <laughs> started. All right. Oh, not officially? Oh. <clears throat> not officially yet. Everyone's just gonna doing the uh, asteroid setup right now and ship deployment. All right, so Scott's placed the first rock. Looks like he's doing... Yeah. So they've started placing the rocks. Uh, Scott's doing a... Asteroid placement... He's trying to make the rocks account for the early and late game. Uh, he hasn't quartered anything. They're doing a circle around the central asteroid, it looks like. Yep. All right, so we're going to see asteroid placement similar to last game. Two different players, four different players, similar setup. All right. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to do just to my mic, folks. Uh, so it looks like we're going to have uh, the Pentagon asteroid set up as close as they can get it. Going to be very difficult for that shuttle if it's going to maneuver. All right. Uh, we just heard from the TO that once everyone's set up, they can begin. So now they're doing depl deployment. Uh, we got the Omicron Lambda shuttle setting up. Uh, looks like he's somewhat in the way of the asteroid, but he the Lambda has a full stop on its dial where it won't move. It'll take a stress for it. So he's not going to be moving that shuttle very much. Uh, the Hawks are being deployed along with the Y-Wings in formation away from the shuttle. Very interesting move there. It looks like he's not going to give too much trouble to the thought of Palpatine living. 
He's just squaring it up, making sure everything's perfectly aligned. Uh, most uh, medalists featuring the TLT Y wings feature four Y wings with uh, arc twos and twin laser turret. However, our Danny has opted for two hawks instead with recon specialist. The recon specialist is a uh, very powerful for this kind of setup because it gives you two focus tokens which you can use uh, either defensively with the Hawks to evade dice or the uh, two attacks. All right, looks like they're shaking hands and they're setting dials. Not hard to predict what the Hawks and Y-Wings are doing. Uh, but we are going to have to figure out... Oh, he deployed the Typho and the TIE Advanced far away. Looks like he's going to move to the asteroids. All right, Lambda's done its dial. It's doing a hard stop. It's just going to stay there. Sorry, folks. All right, and now the movement for the Hawks. Looks like they're all going to be doing one forwards. Uh, Dan's doing a very cautious move, uh, trying to predict where the TIE Advanced Darth Vader and Omega Leader are going to be headed. So for next turn, he'll be able to react to their movement this turn. Understandable play. You're only pilot skill, too. So once he gets a good idea of where he, uh, Scott's trying to make this fight happen, he'll react accordingly. The real question is, how is Vader and Omega Leader going to engage the uh, TLTs? Because once those start hitting, they're going to start stripping shields and hull really quick. All right, oh, looks like he's revealed uh, that Omega Leader, he's doing a three forward. Not too out of the ordinary. And he's going to evade. Oh, the uh, Rebel Hawks have used their focus tokens as well. Sorry about that, folks. All right, Evader's doing a five forward aggressive move. From the other side of the board, looks like he's going to start moving as fast as he can to outflank the Y-Wings and the Hawk. So he's boosted, and now he's barrel rolling. Vader, with his ability, gets two actions a turn with no penalty. And we're going to see what happens. All right. So no combat this turn, obviously. So they're going to strip the token. So he bumped that a little bit. He'll fix that. And we will see what they're doing. Probably one forwards again from the Hawks, or it could be two. It's not 100% on that. The shuttle's going to have to do a one forward. Or it could do a one bank. Uh, Omega Leader, he might try to dance through the asteroids but he could also just fl fly with Vader. We'll have to s figure out what's happening there. It looks like Vader's going to either skirt the asteroids around Dan's edge or go through them in the gap in front of him. All right, so the shuttle has activated. It's doing a one bank towards the Hawks and the Y-Wings. Interesting. It's going to focus with its action. Um... All the Hawks and the Y-Wings activate. Another one forward. Not a big surprise there. Very cautious. Uh, he's waiting to see how this uh, fight's going to turn out before he reacts. Double focus action because of Recon Specialist. Uh, another double focused. And... Y-Wings are just going to do the one forward and focus actions, most likely. Uh, for those asking, uh, local favorite Matt Kish is flying his famed robots today. All right. Um, so all the Y-Wings and Hawks have activated. Uh Omega Leader activates, doing a bank three, it looks like. 
probably going to have to barrel roll if he wants to dodge that rock. Oh, no, he's just... Is he evading, or...? Oh, no, right, he has Calm Relay. Calm Relay lets him keep an evade token as long as he likes. Uh, he can't have more than one. He also has Juke on Omega Leader, which is fairly interesting. Ah, oh, it looks like he barrel rolled. All right, Vader is doing a three forward. So I think he is going to dance around the edge towards Dan and fight. Oh, there's a boost. Hmm. He might not have uh, predicted that too well. He's going to have to figure out what he's going to go from here. Probably a one bang to the right and then another boost next turn. Uh, he's going to attempt to target lock. Nope, no dice. And he's just going to barrel roll closer. All right. Well, it looks like they're out of range. All right, dials are set once again. So far, both two turns, nothing. Uh, both players are trying to get the best position possible on each other. With the TLTs, it's going to be very difficult for the Imperial player. He has to think about every single move he makes. Because he needs to get in the range one donut hole of the Y Wings and the Hawk. So they cannot use their twin laser turrets. Carefully decide every move. <laughs> All right. Another dial set. Looks like he's... Scott is ready. Okay. Oh, reveals the Lambda. It's doing a one forward. A little surprise there. Oh, he's got to just fix that. There we go. And it's going to keep his focus action. Uh, Dan reveals a two forward. Uh-oh. The Lambda's in trouble now. I should have definitely have uh, done a hard one stop, a hard zero stop, and been out of range. Double focus. Yep. That lambda is going to start losing shields and hull uh, if uh, Vader and Omega Leader can act. Can't act in time. <laughs> if Vader doesn't do a five forward, I will be very surprised. Vader will be able to barrel boost. If he desires. Uh, Y Wings, th they're all focusing, by the way. Recon Specialist on the Hawks gives them two focus tokens. Y Wings are just focusing, and looks like all of Dan's moves are good. Alright, Omega Leader. Four forward? Yep. No, five. Five forward. Alright, he's gonna do that. And most likely a barrel roll backwards to the left. Oh, he's target locking, I think. Nope, and he wasn't out of he was out of range of target lock. So now he's oh, looks like the uh, stem was a little finicky there. All right, there we go. All right, uh, Vader activates. Five forward. Very good. Uh, probably going to boost if it can. Yeah. Ooh, it's range one of a Y wing. It looks like, although from uh, this angle I can't quite tell. But it looks like range one. He's probably going to target lock. That's target lock. Eyeballing, I would say it's range one, but they'd have to measure it to be sure. All right. Yep, they measured. Range one can easy. All right, he gets three shot, three hits. Ooh. Now, because of advanced targeting, Peter, he's going to add a crit. Yep. 
two hits and two hits on that Y wing. No evades. This is very bad for the Y wing. It's just lost all of its shields and taken a direct hit. Well, uh, crit. Sorry. We'll see what the crit is in a second. Uh, I can't actually see what the crit is from here. Definitely not good for the Y Wing, though. Uh. Looks like Omega. I thought Omega Leader was in range. I guess not. Uh, so Twin Laser Turret. Looks like it's shooting into Vader. Hit and crit. Uh, one evade, one eyeball on Vader. Oh, Emperor Palpatine. He used it to evade. Uh, second Twin Laser Turret. Spending a focus for three hits. Well, two hits and a crit with the Twin Laser Turret. Oh, blank dice. Vader loses a shield. Oh, shit. Uh, there we go. And one evade, two eyeballs. Looks like Vader lost another shield. Three hits. I think this is all on Vader. Uh, oh, my goodness. Vader is taking a direct hole damage now. Uh, two hits and an eyeball. Uh, is he going to spend the focus for the hit? Nope, he's just going to let it ride. Uh, from the Y-Wing onto the Vader. Ooh, Vader takes another damage. Vader's almost dead. Uh, hit and crit, it looks like. Can Vader evade these? Yes, on the dice. On the dice. Vader almost died. Um, he's alive with one hell left. The only reason he is able to survive this round is because that Y-Wing is at range one and cannot use Twin Laser Turret. And everyone else is out of arc. Well, out of uh, range for the that last Y-Wing. Amazingly. Vader alive with one hull. Uh, Mega Leader had to use a evade token, it looks like. And yeah, it's going to be a very tough game for the Imperial player right now. He has to stay on them. Uh, if Dan so decides, if uh, Vader keeps on his tail, he could instead just strip that Lambda's every single hull and shield. Uh, strip eight damage if it's so decided. I guess he's saving it for last because he feels like he can deal with it. He's likely going to finish Vader off first, though. Uh, Scott really needs to start removing the Y-Wing that's left if he wants to have a chance at this game. Though I feel like he can personally do it. He's still at the target lock. He can, if he just does a one bank, he should be okay. The Lambda's doing a three forward. What? I honestly am surprised. Uh aggressive play with Emperor Palpatine. Uh, possibly trying to block? If so, that's uh, not a bad idea. Oh, he's target locking. Who is he target locking, though? Uh, the the Y-Wing that was already injured. Ooh. Well, what happens now? Did Dan go straight, or did he turn? Oh, that looks like a straight. Alright, so he went straight. Wow. Uh, looking at this, folks, the Lambda is not going to take any of the TL... Uh, it's going to avoid two TLT shots. Vader's going to definitely avoid one. Um, if that... If that hawk? No, that hawk's not right range one. Um, they're both uh, using their action to focus and recon special because of another focus. Uh, 
The Y Wing is turning in. Ooh. Did not expect that. Thought he was going to keep formation there. Going to focus. Ooh, range one shot from the Y Wing into the Lambda? Maybe. That's something he can do if he can't use his twin laser turret. Uh, is that a two bank? Yes, that is. That is a two bank. That is a. Is that a bump? Oh, fuck. Minor bump there with the Lambda. Uh, I don't think the Y-Wing bumped, though. Wait, did it? He's not assigning a token to it. So I'm, I'm going to say it did bump because he's not assigning a token to it. Or was he just thinking about the... Oh, no. Okay, yeah, no. I'm, I'm going to say it's bumped. All right. Uh, Vader. Oh, wait, no. Okay, so he, he did apparently not bump. Sorry, guys. It's just hard to tell from here. All right, so we target locked Vader. The gold squadron targeted uh, Vader, one who is still at full health. Uh... Omega Leader doing a three bank. Most likely going to target lock somebody. Yep. Uh, ooh. The, y the Hawk with the double focus. That is nasty. That is nasty. Uh, Omega Leader's ability, if I remember correctly, is a uh, target... When uh, attacking or defending against an uh, Omega Leader, they cannot modify their dice. So those focus tokens, if Omega Leader shoots at them, are useless. Uh, Vader did a one bank like I was expecting, and he's going to focus and evade. He still has a target lock on that Y-Wing at range one. Ooh. If that Y-Wing survives this... Oh, he's... Not holding back. He wants that Y-Wing dead. I believe he's using Proton Rockets. I think he is using Proton Rockets for uh, a five-dice attack. It's two base, but it gets one... Uh, attack die for every agility you have, up to three max. So it's going to have five dice if he chooses to use it. And with uh, advanced... I don't know if advanced targeting computer is uh, primary or secondary allowed. We'll find out. Ooh. Okay, spinning the target lock. He really wants that Y-Wing gone. So we're not going to worry about that uh, ruling there. Uh, spend the focus... Uh, three hits and a crit. There's no way that Y-Wing can save that. Oh. Is that an evade? Oh. Oh. Vader did have crack shot. That is correct. He canceled the evade. Three hits and a crit. That Y-Wing only had four hull. It's gone. That is a, a lot of firepower that Dan just lost there. Ooh. All right, so looks like they're checking ranges for uh, Omega Leader. Was he an arc? Um... Oh, it looks like he just forgot that the token was just all the way over there. So he had it. Oh, he does have it. Uh, I can't tell. Hitting a crit. Hitting a crit. Uh, most likely going to be using Juke. And he has him target locked. He can't modify dice. He can't spend that token. Yeah, oh, hey. Dan is unfamiliar with Omega Leader. 
So it is uh, a crit goes through on the Hawk. The Hawk loses its shield. All right. Uh, the Lambda would get to shoot now. It has a target lock, I believe, on the Hawk. So we're going to find out what the Lambda is doing. Actually, I don't believe he's used uh, Palpatine this round. So he still has Palpatine in a sleeve if he needs it. Uh, wait, is the Y Wing shooting? The Omicron should have shot first if it's pile skill two. Oh. Vader's dead. Uh to the Y Wing. Oh thank you, why not? Uh advanced target computer is primary only. Vader's gone. Uh that's a third of his list. Straight up destroyed. Looks like he's checking arc for the Y wing through the if it's through the rock or not. It is not. Cold squadron. Uh, two hits. Uh, two evades. Second so shot. One hit. He can't modify dice. Oh wait, no, he's not target locked on that guy, so he can modify dice if he so chooses. Uh, one hit looks like though. One evade. Barely staying in there. Those dice are not helping him at all today. Uh, the second Hawk is shooting into the shuttle. Two eyeballs. He's going to have to spend a focus if he wants anything to happen. Oh, he just automatically takes that hit, I think, if he can't dodge it. Nope. So Mega, oh, the shuttle take loses the shield. Uh, he's going to spend the second focus, and he's just going to lose two shields this turn total. Twin laser turret, for those of you unfamiliar, uh, it's a three attack uh, turret weapon, range one to three. And if it hits, instead of uh, dealing damage, you only deal one damage, but you attack twice. So it's very effective at stripping tokens, and constantly dealing two damage a turn. Uh, that's one of the strengths about the uh, Rebel TLT list here. Uh, it's very consistent. If there's a, a low agility target, you will just chip them away. You can probably do eight uh, projected four to six damage average, but uh, against chips with like z one or zero agility, you're probably going to hit every time. And that's eight damage off of a uh, uh, YT thirteen hundred uh, off a of lambda uh, decimator. All right, they're setting dials, figuring out what they're doing. Dan has to play very carefully here because he has lost uh, a fourth of his list. That's two damage a turn he's lost right now. And he has actually broken formations. We're going to have to figure out where he wants his Y-Wing, where are the Hawks to go. The Hawks will probably just go too forward. The Y-Wing is going to have to turn, though, if it doesn't want to bump. It's going to do a three forward. Does it bump on the asteroid? Uh, oh, yes, it did. Did it? Oh, it took a crit? Uh, it does still have shields, so it only loses it. Uh, 
I just need a conf confirmation. Did he take a damage from the uh, asteroid? Uh, the Hawks are just moving two or three forward and looks like a three forward and focusing with recon specialist for that double focus. Uh, the Y-Wing is going to do a three forward. And focus, probably. Oh, no, he's thinking about if he wants to target lock or not. Oh, no. It's just focus. Uh, Omega Leader doing a hard two. Very dangerous for him right now. Uh, Could have clipped the asteroid if he wasn't careful. Uh, all right, so it looks like he's at range one of that. Wyoming. Does he want to change targets? Or is he going to keep on that hawk? Hey. Oh, well, no, he's just going to focus. And he's going to take his shots. I uh, can't see the results from here. Oh. Looks like he used Palpatine to modify the results. Dan rolled. Uh, sorry about that, folks. Small issue, so we're going to see the results in a second. The Hawk. Ooh. Looks like Uh, looks like he took a crit on the honk and lost a shield. Wait, no. Oh, sorry. He just took a crit on the hawk. That was already damaged. My bad. Blanked on the first TLT shot. Blanked on the second shot. Oh, Dan. Dan is not having a good day. Bad rolls. Bad rolls indeed. This will happen. This is X-Wing. Oh, my goodness. Only one hit. And who is this on? Omega Leader. Uh, did he blank out on everything? Oh, he spent his evade token. If he had lost his stealth device there, this would have been very bad. There we go. And that's an average roll now. Three hits. Can Omega Leader dodge everything? No! Omega Leader loses a shield and a stealth device. This is not turning out well for the Imperial player. Uh, Palpatine is stuck on a rock and way out of arc. So now we're going to have to figure out what's he doing now. He definitely wants to get off that rock. Very intense moment of thinking here uh, from the Imperial player. He has to predict if that huh, if that uh, TLT is moving to the. He's gonna do a one forward. Probably not actually. He'll probably do a two to the left, and the Hawks will do the same. And Palpatine is gonna ha the uh, Lambda shuttle. Sorry, is gonna have to move. Yep, indeed. Uh, ice cold dice, indeed. Uh, the Lambda Shuttle's doing a hard two. Yep, and it's stressed. Because uh, for the Lambda, it is a hard maneuver. Very difficult. Little lightning action there from Scott. Uh, the Hawks... 
Did he? The Y-Wing is going to do a hard two, which is a green maneuver for him because of the R2 astromech. No, I think it's a white maneuver normally. And he is target locking Omega Leader. Uh, okay, so the Hawks are doing hard twos. Uh, and they're going to double focus with the Recon Specialist. Uh, the other Hawk is doing a one forward. And interesting. Uh, I guess he really wants to guarantee that it's at range three, but that Omega leader will get that rock because of that. Oh, wait, no. No, just barely. But Omega leader looks like he does have range one on that hawk, though. He's going to have to delete that hawk if he wants to chance at this. Ah, looks like a range one shot. Three dice. And hit, eyeball, and a crit. Using Emperor Palpatine for the crit. Two crits and a hit. All right. Two of eight dice. Something's about to happen here, folks. Let's find out. Eyeball and an evade. He has to spend the focus if he wants to live. Oh, Juke! Almost forgot Juke. Oh, and he has him locked. Omega Leader, he can't spend his focus tokens. Oh, that's a hit and two crits. That Hawk. Is it dead? It's dead! Ooh. Serious blow to his list. He is going to have to remove Omega Leader if he wants to stay in the game. Although right now he's got some good... Right now they're about even, I'd say. Darth Vader was a major blow to uh, the Imperial side. Let me just update the roster here. Uh, two hits and... Spending the token for two of aids. Second shot. Uh, those look like all blanks or one hit. I can't tell. Oh, yep. Yeah, he was able to evade it. <coughs> right, looks like they're cleaning up all their tokens. Ooh. Tough round for the Rebel player, Dan. Uh, one Hawk is at full health, and one Y-Wing is at full health. Omega Leader has lost his shield, and the Lambda has lost three of its shield. Darth Vader for two TLTs. I would call that a pretty good trade, in my own opinion. Uh, Omega Leader definitely putting the herd out. Uh, his ability to negate any dice mods really is strong against this kind of list where the TLTs really want you to be able to mod at least one of the attacks. I feel like he should have went after Palpatine first. Uh, just because of that strong ability, but them's the dice. Uh, looks like a one bank from the Lambda shuttle to de-stress. Probably focus. Or target lock? That, that's range three, it looks like. Just out, actually. No dice on the target lock. It's just going to focus instead. All right, so now the Y-Wing's active. Y-Wing and the Hawk activate. The Hawk? A hard two. Oh, no. Well, it really, unfortunately, didn't have any other choice where to go. Uh, if the other Y-Wing had done um, a one forward instead, Omega Leader wouldn't have had a shot. 
Jackson right now. Mega Leader's probably going to do a two forward and just slam into that hawk as hard as it can. Uh, the hawk is target locking? Yeah. Uh, wow, he does a one forward. And this is going to start chewing on the lambda, most likely. And it's going to focus. Oh, wait, no. He's just going to pin Omega Leader as hard as he can. Is that a two bank? It is. The real question is, is that out of range of the Y-Wing? We're going to have to I don't think so. Not at this. What is his action? Is he going to evade for the Juke? Or is he going to target lock for his Omega Leader's ability to stay alive? Ah, he's going to target lock for the reroll, most likely. I think he should have evaded. Because the Hawk can't shoot him. Uh, or whatever. Uh, two crits and a hit on the Hawk. Uh, he used Palpatine for three crits. Very offensive right now. Dan cannot use any dice mods, actually. I can see why he, uh, did that. Nothing. The Hawk takes three damage. All of them are crits. He loses a shield and takes two face-up damage cards. That Hawk is not going to be looking good if those are both direct hits. Double direct hit! Oh, no! It's gone. It is gone. Omega Leader. Oh, my goodness. It is gone. Dan only has the Y-Wing left. Oh, this is going to be an uphill battle. Oh, my goodness. What are the odds, folks? Double direct damage. Goodness. That's X-Wing, folks. Oh, looks like there was a TLT shot on the on Omega Leader, who just taken the damage. Uh, another shot. I can't see the results. No. Two evades. Does Omega Leader have two damage or one? One? Okay, so he was able to evade all the damage then. It's a fair point, why not? It's a fair point. Although I don't think he... I think he decided to use it. Ah, uh, no. You were... It's a fair point. Should have saved it for the def defense against the Y-Wing. The Y-Wing is at full health. Uh, the lamb has taken three damage, but has, still has shields and hull left. Omega Leader only has two hull left, though, and is really the powerhouse right now. Uh, if Danny can use that Gold Squadron pilot and take out Omega Leader before he's able to get the target lock, uh, I feel like he's got a good chance of just dancing around the lambda and shooting it to death. So we're going to have to see how they play. Uh, no, they're both fairly... I know Dan's a fairly calm player, so we shouldn't see a table flip. That would be pretty, uh, pretty bad, guys. Uh, fat, uh, Omega Leader is very powerful. The loss of dice mods really affects that Recon Specialist Hawk. Uh, without that double focus, he could have evaded a lot of damage if he had it. He's got two very strong aces and Palpatine to back them up. Oh, and it was a one bank from the Omega Leader. Uh, sorry, um, Omicron Pilot. Right in front of an asteroid. Uh, the Y-Wing has done a hard two. Oh, no, it can't TLT, but it can use its primary. He's going to focus. 
This could be good or bad. Uh, actually, the Y-Wing should be okay. Because it's a range one. Uh, Omega Leader is coming around. Ooh. Bit of a... Omega Leader's not been staying on his base. Uh, I guess he just thinks he's too good for that. All right, uh, range one shot from the Lambda into the Y-Wing. Is he going to use his primary? Yep. Four dice with a focus. You spend the f is he going to spend the focus? Uh, hang on. No evades at all. Uh, the Wyoming's going to take any damage cards? Nope, just lost its shields. All right. Uh, the Wyoming only gets a crit and a hit. Uh, well, and it does not evade. Oh, did he use Palpatine? Yes, he did. So he only loses one shield. Ah, it is a smart move. Uh, if he had lost that uh, shield, Dan would have gotten half points for the Lambda shuttle. Very important right now, as far as the MOV goes. Well, not now in this round, but next round, once we start cutting to top eight, uh, it's going to start mattering a lot. The best pin mat is very beautiful. I'm glad we were able to get it for the top table. All right, everyone's setting dials, figuring out their plans. Omega Leader needs to get back in the fight ASAP. It needs to hunt that Y-Wing because the Lambda's going to have to do a two-bank. Yep, two-bank to the left. The Lambda can't K-turn or maneuver in such a way to keep an arc. Uh, it is going to target lock, though. So we'll see what happens. Uh, looks like a two bank from the Y Wing. Or is it a three? That's a th three bank. Oh, no, three straight. My my mistake. Uh, he's going to keep the target lock and he's going to focus. Looks like he's shooting through a rock, though, folks. Very strange. Ooh, is that a hard three? Ah, it's a bank three. Now, is he going to want to try to target lock, or is he going to... Just out of target lock. And he could barrel to start shooting at him. Or he could be content... Oh, actually, no, he won't. He shouldn't. He should keep out of arc, because that Y will start shooting at him. And that would not be good. All right, so only the TLT has shots. It looks like the laser dodges the rock. Uh, hit crit on the shuttle, which has only one evade. Oh, it loses its shield. Two eyeballs. It's spending the focus. All right. That land was at half health. And my mistake, the lambda did have a uh, shield from before. So now it's just at five hull. Uh Dan's going to get half points for that shuttle there. With Palpatine, it's uh, not so meaty, but with uh, the kill of Darth Vader, it's going to matter later. Now, what is uh, Omega Leader going to do? He could do a three bank. He could do a four forward. Uh, he wants to get at range one of that Y-Wing, if he can. He needs to kill it now before it can uh, kill Omega Leader. Uh, the Lambda is going to probably just try to turn. Oh, hard two. Yep, hard two. It's not going to be in this the fight for the rest of the game unless something amazing happens. We're at the 30-minute mark, by the way, folks. Uh, if we do get to the ti uh, time, I'll be a little surprised, but 
who knows? Oh, he's going after the the uh, Lambda. He wants to finish that off. Or he's just trying to get out of Omega Leader's range. Is that a... That's a three bank. It was uh, the less aggressive play. And what's his action going to be? Target lock. Oh, the Y-Wing focused as his action. But has the target lock on... The shuttle, I think? Uh, what are the dice rolls? Uh, one hit. Uh, he has an evade, but is he going to juke? He's juking. Or no, did he not use it? I don't think he did. Two eyeballs. Oh, he can't mod the dice. He takes... He can't do anything, actually. Uh, second shot. Uh, two hits. Oh, uh, Mega Leader has to spend... Um, oh, Palpatine. He evades. The Y-Wing is in trouble. Omega Leader's got him on his sights. Uh, if this were a scum list, the Y-Wing would be able to do a hard three because of the unhinged astromech. It's that weird um, cross-factional difference that changes how a Y-Wing can be played. And Dan's thinking very hard. Uh, Scott's just going to stay on his tail. The Lambda? Yeah, it's probably just going to do like a one forward to de-stress. He, he, actually, he could do a two forward if that's a green maneuver, even a white. He probably just wants to stay out of range. Well, let's find out. Oh, it's a... That's a two forward. It is, in fact, a green maneuver. He is going to de-stress and almost guarantee that the TLT will not be shooting him this turn. Is that a... That's a hard two? Yep. Wait, what? Uh, to the left. Oh, right. Um, that is very close to the board edge. Uh, was that to dodge, um, Omega Leader? He is really close on that edge. Holy. Fire effect. Oh, my goodness. All right, Omega Leader's still in arc, though. Um. He is going to focus. All right. Range two in arc. All right, let's find out. What are the dice? Uh, he's using Palpatine. And the Juke. This looks like the Wyoming takes two damage. Probably tell. Oh, a hit and a crit, maybe? Yep, hit and a crit. Hit and a crit. Goodness. Uh, he's going to shoot back with the TLT, though. What are the dice? Uh, hit and eyeball. Omega oh, Leader. Oh. He spend that juke, the evade uh, token, to not take that damage. Two hits on Omega Leader. Is he going to lose him? Oh, he takes... Oh, he had a focus? Oh, my good, He evades. Omega Leader stays in. Uh, this is really close. Not, And I don't mean, like, just as the list. I mean, like, the edge. Can he even escape with a two-minute... Because he has to do a two. 
He can't do a three because, well, he could do a three, but he'd probably want to do a two. Um, I don't know if that maneuver template's going to overlap the board edge or not. Uh, the Lambda does a hard two. The Lambda is pretty much just chilling this game now. He survived the joust. Uh, the Tempest of the Wowing. Uh, the Wowing didn't follow him, so he doesn't have to fear. Uh, what? Did he do a hard two? Or. Oh, we have a judge call. Judge called indeed. All right, we'll find out what's going on here. Oh, the crit might have been after you perform a white maneuver. You you can't perform um something like oh, hard turns. Oh. If that's what that is, it would override the R2 astromech. Can he get away with it, though? On the board edge. Oh, that is so close. I guess he made it. Wow. He made it, and he's taking a stress because of that um, crit. All hard turns are red. Omega Leader just turns in. Guns in sight. He's evading. I'm going to say that's range one, folks. It is range one. There's only... Oh, dice. What are the dice? Palpatined. He really wants this Y-Wing gone. Oh, that's it. That's it, folks. I'm guessing three damage. He probably didn't roll an evade. Oh, with Juke, he couldn't even... Um, even if he evaded, he didn't ha have a token. That's it, folks. The Y-Wing's gone. Uh, our winner for round two uh, is Scott Spiro. Uh, he did lose half of his points on the Lambda... And he lost Darth Vader, but he was able to take on the